A nice retrieve by a Labrador retriever. On a normal shooting day, a man will stand, have the birds driven over him, and shoot the game. It's so much nicer if you, with your own dog, can actually pick that game, and you can concentrate on shooting without worrying too much about your dog. In this video, we're going to show you how to train your Labrador retriever out to a standard where you feel confident to go out in the field with your dog. And we have with us Ian Openshaw, one of the top trainers in this country of Labrador retrievers. We'll talk about how to train all kinds of retrievers for different types of shooting. for any Labrador Retriever has got to be the ability sit. to make sit. it sit and then stay while you leave it or stay, or stay while sit. you do any shooting stay. of any nature. Remember sometimes you may be walking up a rabbit stay. around the corner of a hedge you make the dog sit, go and have a creep round yourself. Uh, stay. Notice there Duke, stay. not quite certain what to do but Ian moves back to him, he was fidgeting a little bit but Ian's left the lead on Duke, he's put the lead on, he's walked along He's put the dog down, and then he's left the lead on. Sit. Made him sit and left the lead on. One stage further from taking the lead off. Notice again. Duke just moving sit. forward. So Ian just sit. pulls sit. him back, gives him a tap, says, no, you stay, stay there. Stay. Sometimes you've got dogs which crawl to you. You leave that lead on, you can sometimes fasten it to a fence or get someone just behind to hold it. But if you can take one step back and the dog doesn't move, half a step back and the dog doesn't move, you're beginning to win. And gradually build it up over a period of time. So walking the dog on, sit, again just drops the lead, the dog there on the lead. Duke's one of those lads that goes down, lays down, he'll overcome that. Just puts stay. him back, makes him stay. Stay, 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 good lad, good boy, stay. And this time he'll go back to him stay. and praise him. Good boy. He's done what he wants this time. <laughs> good boy. Good lad, good lad. Go on. Again, the dog quite happy, just uncertain as to what's required. Most dogs stay. want to come up to their owner. They feel insecure at being left. Stay. So this time he's taking the lead off. Stay. Left the dog there. Stay. Notice the open hand, and notice the eye contact, always keeping his eye on the dog, holding him there with his eyes, holding him there with his voice and with his hands. And Duke, just looking at Ian and saying, have I done right that time, am I all right? Yes, he is. And that's pleasing. Ian's pleased with the dog for that, and you see the dog's happy too. He's realized what it's all about, and he's doing something right. So Ian slips the lead on once more, and walks on, all done quietly, all done patiently. It may take a while before you can take Stay. 10, 15, 20 yards away Stay. from your dog. Some uh, dogs uh, happens uh, quickly, uh, some dogs uh, it doesn't. Sit. Ian just puts the little dog back again. Stay. He came towards him, he'd lost Stay. concentration, came towards Ian. So Ian just puts Stay. him back again. Good boy, daddy, good boy. Good boy. And again, this time, isn't it all right? So praise him. He'll quickly learn. Good boy. Once the dog's been able to sit and stay, stay, it sometimes is a problem that the dog will still run into a dummy, which is a, a severe temptation, something they enjoy doing. What Ian does, he just puts the dog in front of him, says sit, says stay, he's learned how to do that, throws the dummy to one side and picks it up himself. Good boy. He's Good not going to be sent for it, Come on, Duke. therefore he remains sit. steady to that. 
So he's just going to put him alongside him. Uh, and notice there, the dog was going to move alongside him. He hadn't put himself between the dog and the dummy. And that's been very positive the first time he did it. The second time was a little bit of a problem. Dog Whoa. alongside Ian, wanted Whoa. to go for it, and Ian just stood in front of ah, Careful, Duke. careful. Sit. Once he'd done it right, he praises him. He went and fetched it himself again, you notice. Steve. This time just steps a little bit further forward than the dog. If the dog had moved, he would have stepped in front, stopped him, Steve. and then gone and fetched it again. Steve. And he's not, the, the dog is anticipating a little bit. He's guessing what Ian's going to do. So he makes him wait once more. He says, no, if you're fidgeting, if you're going to go without me sending you, you're not going. I'll pick that myself. So this time makes him sit, throws the head, makes him wait. Now watch the hands. He shouldn't go till he sends him. Now that's better. That's better. Now Duke can have that reward of a retrieve and back to hand. That's better. Be positive. Try and put your dog in a position so that it can't do wrong. Put you down there, Steve. just Steve. sit and stay. This time a bit further. Now watch the hand, he shouldn't go until he's sent. That's better. Goes with the hand, goes with the fetch it. You've got a, you got a handbag hold on that one. Young dog, not quite, and that's better. Put it down, balances it correctly and brings it up. Your dogs will often get hold of dummies incorrectly. You'll get little faults like that. Don't worry, don't panic. They'll sort it out. Their experience will overcome it. Sit. If you do get a dog that does that regularly, just tie the toggle down. So not going until he's sent. Watch the hand. Ian just fidgets, messes about. Dog shouldn't go till he's sent. Not from a movement of the hand, but from a proper scent. That's better. Notice he was tempting him, he was teasing him. The hand wasn't going to send him Whoa, duke, duke, until it shoots uh, forward duke. and says, fetch it. And the dog go forward, and that was nice. Did.